they could have been saved by cosplay. Like, I really <laughs> think so. Because it's just fanfic that they're reading, you know? And it's mm -hmm. like the energy that they, they could, it, they're LARPing. They, they have, they make costumes. I really believe that. And I don't think they're mentally ill. My mom has schizophrenia. You know what I'm saying? But even she lives in reality. They cancel one Comic-Con and they storm the fucking Capitol. I mean, yeah. I kind of think so. Borat did well. I like that. The, that one was funny. The, the period scene. I don't think I've ever laughed harder. No, I, I, I haven't I laughed out. Yeah. I've never seen you laugh harder in my, in my whole life. And which part? Which part did you laugh the hardest? The period, the period part. The period <laughs> scene. It, so it was, yeah, I mean, it's refreshing to have, I think as comedians, you're just like, you were around it so much, we don't laugh at as much, or it takes as high a threshold at least. I was dying. It and like, as a, a woman single. who like oh, has dude. had a period. Okay. <laughs> it's just like that. My wife was in the fetal position. You're what? Wearing her fit oh my God, I missed a great opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> wah, wah, wee, wah, my wife. <laughs> Why do you think poop would not be funny in certain cultures? I can tell you how to figure it out. Thank you for taking I, it seriously. <laughs> well, I am a scientist, so I do. It's a compelling question. I don't know exactly why, but here's what I think it has to do with. So what we can do is we can sort of reverse engineer this. Okay. So when poop is funny, why is it funny? You're supposed to go in a toilet, but it ends up in your pants. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's not funny while it's in your pants. It's funny after your pants have been cleaned. It's funny if it's in someone else's pants. It's always funny when it's in someone else, especially an enemy's pants. Yeah. So here's what I think it has to do with. like, Feels good, but it's a real problem. It can be a real problem when not disposed of correctly. I have a Japanese toilet. When I go to the bathroom, it goes smoothly. Yeah. Clean up is nice, refreshing, like new kind of thing. It's pretty cool flex, Pete. <laughs> the a number one greatest undisputable perfectest uh, snl sketch of all David time is, no it's clearly the, <laughs> the it's without a doubt <laughs> <laughs> that is the perfect sign off that was <laughs> yeah. i don't know if you can do it better than that people can't hear no. what he said but it was the martin lawrence monologue <laughs> I want to fucking get to party with Post Malone for sure. When my little brother, my little brother is 22 now. When he was 20, he came into Los Angeles and he, he and his girlfriend were here uh, for one of my cousins getting married. And they were like, we want to go to Hollywood. And like, why would you ever, you know, you want to talk people. It's like, uh, you want to talk people about doing the boring. And they were like, we just want to see the stars. And I'm like, look, it's, you're not going to run into anyone. Nothing's going to happen. Hollywood is kind of dumb and touristy. I dropped him off there at 1030 in the morning. Before I was home, they had texted me a picture with Post Malone. <laughs> and I was like, where did you meet Post Malone? My brother's 20. He is like, that's his guy. And I was like, where'd you meet Post Malone? He goes, he's waiting for Hooters to open. <laughs> and he just hung out with them and talked outside of a Hooters until it opened at 11 o'clock. And he's like, Los Angeles is crazy. Bags, it's easy to meet <laughs> I think it'd be no. fun, and I want to start with Brad. I want you to think of the next fun thing he's going to do in March to humiliate himself. <laughs> <laughs> we've had a January. We've had a February. I want. What is the next thing Ted Cruz is going to do to completely it, humiliate himself? It feels like he's going so out of his way. Like I don't. Cancun almost feels like a bit. Yes. I think he's in March. He's just going to be like. He's going to have like a pallet of vaccine and just drop it. <laughs> <laughs> and it's going to, yeah, it's going to be on camera and he's going <laughs> to. Then, then I'd be behind so him. I'd tell you, you go for that third thing, you know, and if he's dropping, a, if he dropped a lot of vaccine. Yeah. I, I'm sorry, Ted, you're bringing me back. How's it possible that like, you know, there's The Daily Show and Colbert and so many like liberal funny TV shows exist and they always try to make conservative ones and they always fail and they like never caught on. We're like, they're like, I guess it just can't be. But then with radio, how yeah. come we're like, how come liberal comedy radio never catches on? But how come <laughs> is it just that people? Is yeah, I don't know. Nobody wants to look at a conservative and no one wants to listen to a liberal. Like what's happening? <laughs> Could Dennis Miller do it if he wanted to? Oh, 
He tried having a radio. Right? Show. No, I yeah. I mean, like a TV show. Like he had a he TV tried having show. a TV show. He had one. I mean, yeah. but with his <laughs> a couple. Mike, Mike's like, give him a fifth <laughs> chance. Let's see what happens. <laughs> I just want a guy with a mullet to go, ha, babe, on my TV. 